Good morning, folks. The last 24 hours on our star were very calm, but we've got a couple big things to discuss this morning. We begin with earthquakes. Yesterday we mentioned that this dark incoming coronal hole represented a polarity change and up the earthquake watch index, especially as Mercury is coming in to conjoin the sun as well. We've already upped the global alert, but what about our location-based predictions? After starting two for two using the new OLR system, Three days ago, we made predictions number three and four, a larger magnitude warning for Sumatra and a mid-range alert for Central America. But two days ago, we posted to QuakeWatch.net and our social media pages that the energy from Sumatra was moving quickly towards China. So, what we're going to do here is look for that positive negative anomaly close proximity to Sumatra and in the week-long data from days ago see how it comes over to China the waters off China and even to Japan Indian Ocean blob is rain based not quake based but look at how the shift in color went to the south and east China Sea you'll see it on the daily runs as well this is what I saw when I said the energy is moving to China and if I had been able to see just one day more, I'd have put China and Japan on alert. A large earthquake struck the East China Sea between nations last night. I'll say that the USGS may have bungled this 6.7 downgrade from a consensus initial shock of 7.0, with multiple resonating shakes up to that level as well. FYI, the Eastern world may not be out of the woods yet, and Central America looks just as ready to shake as it did two days ago. Let's not fall asleep. Three days of solar wind show a couple blips, no real solid impacts, but possible reverberations if indeed that speedy stream mentioned yesterday hit at those super fast speeds. And in furtherance of that early arrival hypothesis, the longer term goes 15 data shows that it was not off or broken, but reading very negative magnetism, a polarity flip of that segment of the field. They just were not showing it on the shorter term charts. It's now on the 3-day and 45-day charts. 108 days will update soon. Well, in terms of solar eruption threats, that curling plasma filament faces Earth directly and remains top watch as the Earth-facing solar quiet has not only crushed the flaring output, but stifled the sunspots as well. Central group choked out overnight. There was such potential for him, too. Anyway, we'll go through a rough couple of days for the western U.S. as we hit pressure, radar, and an earth spot bonanza in the South Atlantic, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.